Mysterious streak in the sky. People saw it all the way from LA to Northern California. Now, Vandenberg Air Force Base supposed to blast a rocket into the heavens tonight, but that mission was scrubbed. So, what was that site? Well, KCAL 9's Tom Wade is live at the Griffith Observatory with some answers tonight. Tom, what is it? Yeah, Jeff, a busy night in the heavens above the Southland. So a lot of people had questions about what was going on tonight. Well, first of all, hundreds of people were gathered here at Griffith Observatory to see that rocket launch. It didn't happen, but something else very interesting did. A mystery streak in the evening sky had imaginations in overdrive. People were posting about the fiery looking squiggle up and down the state. Many of the posts came from the Bay Area all the way up to Stockton. Dr. Laura Danley is Griffith Observatory curator. There was a huge bright shooting star. It's actually, we call it a bolide, which uh, is when it's really big and bright and it's a big chunk of something burning up in the atmosphere. And if you're not a science buff. A meteor and a shooting star, the same thing. Bolide applies to really bright ones. Kelsey, the MD has declared a scrub for today's operations. By coincidence, a failed rocket launch happened around the same time the meteor was seen. A big crowd had already gathered at Griffith to see the rocket soar over the area. It was supposed to launch from Vandenberg Air Force Base, carrying a secret payload. We captured the shooting star ourselves, not even sure what it was when we first saw it. It was a complete coincidence. We uh, were, everybody was looking west to look for the launch, and then suddenly, like, what's that? Is that the launch? It's like, it can't be. It's not for another 15 minutes. Uh, and so, you know, we just lucked out. Yeah, we definitely lucked out. We didn't get to see the rocket launch, but at least we got to see something interesting in the skies. And of course, uh, we asked the curator here if there's any safety issues with meteors coming down. She said there are none. Reporting live here at Griffith Observatory, I'm Tom Wade, KCAL 9 News.